Um, good morning, Jackson. Um, thank you so much for joining um, me you. today and taking your time out of your day to come and answer some questions um, that I have. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, okay, so let's get right into it. Um, you know, you're an artist in solo, you're an upcoming artist, you have your own website, you know, your Instagram is booming right now. You have so much, um, so many good stuff up there. Um, what made motivated you to start painting? Um, I would say the, um, the surrounding, like the culture and people around me, it motivates me like every day. Mm -hmm. to show my art and um, to display uh, to my viewers and yeah, people following out, people wanted um, stuff for me uh, to buy, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. So it keeps motivating me to work and to create more um, artworks during, uh, during like week in, week out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So how long have you been painting for? And also what, like, what's like the root inspiration you got that like made you want it to paint? Um, I started painting when I was like, I, after I came out from high school, but during high school, I've been doing little paintings, but not as for commercial stuff. But mm. then when I came out from high school, I decided like, I saw like the uniqueness and the, um, the, the career which art took. It's a hard process though, like trying to choose like whether I should complete my education and I'll go straight right to art. So yeah, I decided to take the, the long run. I, I would decide to like go straight to art. So I get chances to go and study a little bit. And then when I came back, I, I want to be a full-time visual artist. Mm. So wait, did you study art? Did you mention, did you study art? Yeah, a little, but like a few, a few side careers of art, not actually mm. studying it, but like I studied digital art and uh, the whole um, compound around it. Yeah, just to, yeah, to make me more like, I have a big field in the big uh, view in the the field of art yeah oh that that's so good um and that's good that you did that um so i i noticed one of your paintings you post it up on instagram and you have like a lady and then you have like the nature around her one it's pied like what's the story behind that portrait um yeah i think i started doing those um those series um when um i started getting into the involvement of um like seeing issues around Solomon Islands. And one of the main one is um, pollution and climate change. And I, I wanna like, uh, I wanna show how, how it affects us but by telling people what I see through my, um, through my dreams and stuff. So yeah, I started creating the, the, the one that it's entitled Ocean Aurora. It, mm. it, it, it um, defines like a, a lady, uh, so a low lady, um, like a local lady, um, but then you have, she has the, um, feces and all the ecosystem around here but like in her face she's worried like yeah it it, it depicts like um like uh, this change is coming and most of the locals are unaware of and yeah so i want to show like yeah <laughs> it's kind of funny but like i want to show like this is how we connect with the nature and um this we're seeing um problems coming up yeah yeah, oh, that's that's such a beautiful piece. That's like one of my favorite pieces of, from Thank your you. work. Um, yeah. Yeah, but that's such a good, um, um, I guess, story behind it. Um, so what would you say um, your art is based off? Like, like what kind of art do you do? Like, I know you do portraits and paintings and stuff, but what do you like normally base your work off? Yeah, so I wanna. I most of my art, like my my plans are like I was trying to base like more of a like a surrealism. It's like a mixture of like, it's it's real pictures, but at the at the end it tells a story, and it's not real. You cannot capture like the photos with a photograph or something. But yeah, it's it's it tells a story. It like there's a message behind it. So that's why I create like most of their um they they have um really deep meanings and yeah. You can really pick out a story and yeah, find where you're shelving. Mm, yeah. uh, that that is so good. Um, so now going into uh, like the like I guess like the legal side. How do you protect your work? Like, do you protect it in any way, or do you have? Um, that's one. That's one strong. Yeah, but in in the case of Solomon Island, protecting art like the copyright to legal art, I think we don't really we don't have that. At the moment, we don't. Uh, you an artist like 
can do something, but then someone can copy it. But we don't really have a strong, um, strong, strong law against it. And I think the government is working on that. Um, maybe in the sooner future, like they, we have really strong um, copyright for that. But I think my art is like the the uniqueness of it. It makes it more, um, yeah. That's like being me <laughs> of, of it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so good. That's um, that's interesting. Um, <laughs> so, um what would you like advise like other upcoming artists who are like watching this um, video right now or just seeing your work? Um, what advice would you give to them? I'd say um, it's like, it's um, seeing this uniqueness, uh, this talent, uh, these skills of being an artist, that it's, it's, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Like if you wanna go straight to art and take up it as your career, like me, I Supposed to be a, like a professional artist someday. Yeah, it's like if you if if someone is interested in art, like she has to or he has to develop their skills day by day to mm. find where she is. Be creative, like most of the days. Yeah, and educate just education and stuff. But they can work together. You can study at the same time and you can work at the same time and do art at the same time. Those can work together. But for being an artist, it's unique. Like most people don't really have their skills and. The one selected for it, it, it has, yeah, you have to cherish it and work yeah. hard for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, not everyone can draw <laughs> like you, how can you do? But no, that's so true. Um, yeah. And, you know, with artwork, like <clears throat> I can't even draw, but I know you have to put time and effort into it and educate yourself and how to get it right and everything. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's so good. So, like right now in solo, where do you have your art like established or where do you sell your art or where where are you like do you have like a exhibition somewhere or anything um so far um so far the three or four years coming back um i've been working at home my studio um it's 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 developing but yeah then i have a little shop i run with a few other artists we share the shop um mm -hmm. to sell our art at the national art gallery gallery mm -hmm. So we have like a little space where we display our art, but most of our targets are on tourism, um, mm -hmm. tourists, but then like we have um, the coronavirus um, pandemic coming up, uh, mm -hmm. coming in and yeah, it, 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 it reduces the amount of tourists coming in to buy us, um, buy our paintings. But, mm -hmm. And then at the same time, we, we have less um, exhibitions um, at our art gallery. So yeah, I think most of the locals currently now, the locals are the ones like buying from us and yeah, it depends on on the artist. Like if you if you working hard, then you have a um, few orders from locals. Mm. That's what keeps us <laughs> till now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Well, thank you so much for um sitting down with me and answering some um some all of my questions. Oh, thank and you. Taking <laughs> time for out. Um, I really do appreciate this, and this is my um uh, this is the first time Pillen is interviewing an artist from Solo, um, an artist like yourself. And so um, we're keen for more, um, you know, more interviews and more, um, I guess, articles or anything else in the future. We're so keen. And thank you so much for um, accepting. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. Too. Thank you. All right.